So in this video, we're going through a quick review of Nutshell CRM and compare it to Leadloft to see which CRM is best for your team. Let's dive into it. So this is Nutshell CRM, and it really does three things, sales, marketing, and engagement. But Leadloft really focuses on sales, so that's what we're going to focus on here as well. And the way Nutshell works is it has three objects, it has companies, people, and leads. And I do not know why they call them leads, because technically, they're deals. You can hop in here, we drag and drop pipeline, and you kind of just drag these around. You do have shared lists here on the left, and it's relatively straightforward. And this is kind of how Leadloft operates as well. You have this view, your pipeline, and you can hop in here, you can drag these deals around, really straightforward. I'd say the difficulty and the big differences come when you're talking about engaging them. In a nutshell, it's super manual. So I can open up this deal here, scroll around, and if I want to engage them, I have to send texts, send emails, etc. I'm going to have to log activity. It's super manual. And there's really no way to automate outreach as well. If you do want to automate outreach, it's technically done through marketing. So your you know, VP of sales or sales manager, or possibly your marketing team, basically be setting up automations as you're selling to these individuals, instead of your sales team being able to run outreach to them. So in Leadoff, for example, I can open it up here. And we use something called Playbooks, right? And Playbooks automate emails. They automate LinkedIn, outreach, et cetera. So here's a quick example. We have a verification step, an email automation step, calling tasks. We even have LinkedIn automation for LinkedIn connections and LinkedIn messages. So Leadloft's outreach capabilities are super powerful. If I hop into our pipeline, I can basically just say, hey, let's filter for everybody who I need to follow up with. I could select all of them, click playbooks, add to a playbook, and I can just go maybe find a playbook like follow up and click enroll. And then we'll start engaging them automatically. And it's really simple. This is just sent from my email. So just email communication. If they reply, it shows up in my email. Or if they reply, it shows up in my LinkedIn account. So it's really straightforward. If you hop into Nutshell and you want to set up automations, it gets actually really confusing. And I can usually learn CRMs very quickly because I'm so familiar with them. But it was actually quite an experience learning how to use Nutshell here. So I can hop in here. We'll go to Automations. We'll say Pipeline. We'll say our default pipeline here. And then there's a few automations you can run. There's a user assignments, goals, tasks, drip sequences. And you can probably already see how confusing this can get if you're setting it up. So basically, when a deal moves from one stage to another stage, you can set up an automation. So here, for example, we can select it and say, OK, let's create a drip sequence. They're going to push you to the marketing aspect of the software where you create a drip sequence. And this is essentially just sending newsletters. It's not sending email outreach. It's not personalized emails. It's just sending newsletters, essentially. So it's really not built for sales. It's maybe more built for marketing. So if you are looking to use a CRM for sales, I just might be cautious when it comes to Nutshell, especially when it comes to follow up automation or even outreach automation. So when it comes to tracking, Leadloft is obviously much more powerful, but it even goes beyond that. If you hop into LinkedIn, for example, you can basically just input a search here like VPs of sales. And what you can do is you can actually just save their contact information directly from LinkedIn. You can see down here on the bottom, we have our Chrome extension where we have segments. And a segment's essentially just a way to organize leads. So let's say founder. And then you have playbooks as well. And if you select the playbook, we'll actually enable our one-click engage feature where not only will we find their contact information like their email and cell phone number, but we'll also enroll them in a playbook. So let's just say our VP's playbook here. I'm struggling. There we go. Our VP outbound demo playbook. Find somebody we want to get in touch with. We'll say Will and Tanner here. We'll just click Save on them. And when you click Save, what's going to happen is we're going to find the contact information, verify it in real time. And because we have a playbook selected here, we're actually going to automatically enroll them in that playbook as well. So now we're using Leadloft to not only track our pipeline, but we're also using it to generate new leads. So we go to our playbook here. You can see our VPs outbound. And this is what we're going to enroll them in. So we clicked Save on them. And we're engaging them in this playbook. Now if we go to our pipeline, let's see what's going on here. There's Tanner and there's Will. And we open up Will here. You can see we found his email and that green dot actually indicates that was verified as well. And you can also see he's being engaged in this playbook that we selected. So in a single click, we saved his contact information and rolled him in a playbook and we began engaging him. And again, if you have tasks like calling tasks, et cetera, that will appear here. Or if it's automated tasks like emails or LinkedIn outreach, that will happen all automatically in the background. And what's really cool is if any communication takes place, it gets synced here automatically to this deal. And the last thing with all of this is if you don't want to do that manually and you don't want to hop into LinkedIn and prospect manually, we do have features that can actually automate that for you using AI. And we just run through that. You can hop into our playbook here, click new playbook, click AI prospector. And then you just describe the contacts you want. Let's just say VPs of sales located in California. There we go. When you're ready, just click continue. 
and now we're off to the races. It's building an audience in the background. And then the next step is actually to build out that playbook. And again, you can use AI to build that out. So we'll click build with AI. We'll use a prompt template here just to save ourselves some time. And the picture we're gonna use is we help teams make really efficient sales processes. There we go. We help teams build super efficient sales processes. We use it to book 40 meetings a week, interested in seeing how we do it. So we'll just click generate with AI and this will simplify everything. We'll write the emails, we'll add bounce shell that thinks it's necessary. We'll add calling tasks, even LinkedIn automation steps. So there we go. So it knows we're running emails. So it has added a bounce shield step here at the top, which verifies risky and unverifiable emails, as well as emails that might be old or stale. We have an automated connection, a calling tasks, a follow-up email, uh, LinkedIn messages, et cetera. So it looks like a really solid playbook. If you want to use it, just click use playbook. And there you go. And now what's going to happen in the background is this AI prospector using AI agents is going to go contact by contact, company by company, seeing if they actually match this description of yours. And if they do, of course, it's going to find their contact information. So their email and their phone number. It's going to verify it in real time and then enroll them in this playbook and start engaging them. And if you want to launch this, you can just click start playbook on the top right here and it will begin in the next 30 seconds or so. So there you have it. That's my review of Nutshell CRM. When it comes down to it, it does feel like it's a little bit outdated. And generally, I'm very honest about this. If the CRM is pretty solid, I'll share its highlights. Obviously, it's very sophisticated. There's a lot you can do with it, but it does just feel a little bit like an older CRM compared to newer ones nowadays. And that's especially true when it comes to the sales features. If you're looking to run sales and track a pipeline and generate leads, Leadloft is obviously the better choice here. So hopefully it's helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or my team. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.